So an hour ago from recording this, Splitgate 2 released some gameplay to show off the new Splitgate, and, I mean, it's still just Splitgate, but with factions. What up, everybody? It's your favorite Dutch cookie, and let's talk about Splitgate 2. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little confused. I watched the full five-minute video on Splitgate 2 gameplay, and granted, it looks fun because Splitgate was fun. I'm just confused as to why it needed a sequel, I mean, they've added in factions. The factions have certain passives and abilities, but from what I heard, it's mostly faster movement, a slide mechanic, someone has designated heals and can wall hack, and everyone can still portal. Look, I'm not mad or trying to hate the fact that they're creating Splitgate 2. That's not it, I, I promise you. I think the game looks good, all right? So everybody just breather, you know what I mean? But. It's just when I heard that the devs were making a new game, I don't know why, I just thought it would be some new idea and not just a sequel to Splitgate. Because it just seems adding in factions and all that stuff could have just been a major content update for Splitgate itself, as opposed to just going full on sequel. But I'm no dev and I'm no hater. And the game looks good. But I had to talk about this piece because I like to be honest and I can't help when I feel something, I have to talk about it. Just is what it is. So what are the factions? We have Eros, who are the fastest with movement and reload speed, basically. You have Meridian, who are the healers and the spotters. They're the ones with the wall hacks or hypersight, I believe they called it in the trailer. Uh, basically, it lets you see, you know, the outline of the enemies their health bar shit like that seems cool next up we have sabrask who are the defenders and also fraggers this faction has a shield wall that enemies can't shoot through but you can and you also have sticky grenades that do crazy damage mind you there's probably more to it that's just kind of all they really talked about so that's that's all i got now the whole faction aspect seems like it could be interesting but I'm not sure how much it's really going to shake up the game. I feel like that's one of those things you won't really be able to understand until you're immersed in playing. So I'm gonna wait and see. Now I haven't seen anything on the devs Twitter or website about a play test. All it says under the frequently asked questions, not soon as you want, not as far away as you fear. So it looks like they're keeping all that under wraps, but the game will remain free to play on PC and old and new gen consoles but it's looking like 2025 is when we will get our chance to be hands-on with the game so what do you think was splitgate 2 necessary are you excited do you think this type of shooter has a place in our current market of shooters let me know your thoughts i'll see you in the next video